I decided to make this video like this because I'm laying down. I don't feel like getting up and putting on any makeup or anything. But anyway, so this is just a screenshot of myself. But um, the reason for making this video is that um, I'm I'm living in, right now I'm in Houston, Texas with my daughter. And I often say I'm being held hostage by these um, political states. That I mean, I have a civil case pending in with Missouri and in Nevada. Um, because of that, these here um, uh, defendants, defendants that I'm up against, are holding me electronically hostage, meaning they are stopping my communication, blocking my communication, stopping my mobility, my freedom, and everything. Um, even the truck that I drove here to Houston, they on a daily basis they sabotage and um, torch. I mean, I'm sorry, sabotage and destroy that truck. So I can't leave back out of here driving if I want to. They blocking everyone from giving me funding. And just a whole nine yards. So I'm stuck here and I have a home in Las Vegas. I've been trying to get back to. I have a business and a home, but they forced me to close down my business and everything else, just trying to stop me from pursuing this case. And one of the um, complaints that I have with the courts about the case is for fraudulent conveyance. My grandfather, we was inherited a lot of land. And what happened is um, some blacks, in Las Vegas, I call them the states because most of them are politically um, um, involved. So if they are employed by the government or have a government job, they are known as states. So um, some of the black states in Las Vegas have claimed possession of that land without my knowledge of, of so. And due by it being um, basically the, the title is dated 1912 A.D., so basically, that is the, uh, the oldest and the original title that was inherent to me that all are trying to steal from me. And because of that, I wrote to the courts that if anything should happen to me, then I want the subjects of the world. Subjects are just like regular people, citizen, human beings. But I have to use the word subjects because uh, in government, if you say persons or human beings, sometimes they tend to relate that to the elites instead of just regular normal people. So I said, I would like to donate everything to, um, if something should happen to the people of the world worldwide, that includes poor people, rich people, all people worldwide. I would include my, um, they would be my beneficiaries and, uh, Yes. And then also um, of Russia and Germany, since Germany, the Germans was uh, where I originally how we originally obtained that certificate of title through my grandfather, who's black. But his great great grandfather was uh, white and he was a slave. So he had a baby by a relative of ours. And that's how we end up with this title. But as it appears, for six years, I've been fighting in court just trying to get them to uh, remove this here secretly um, a chip out of my tooth. It was an instrument. It's called uh, a security instrument, which affording them and allowing them to monitor, track and trace me 24 hours a day. And that's how I'm being held hostage electronically because I have this here security instrument in my tooth, this chip. That's allowing them not only to monitor and track me 24 hours a day, but it's also um, they can control just about every organ in your body so they can um, send me pain as they would a dog like shock treatment, which they had, which they do that, too, sometimes on a daily basis. So for the last six years, I have been try fighting, trying to get um, some type of intervention or justice and just get help. I've been gone away from my business for three years, three entire years. I've been just like on the road, just stuck here, um, trying to get back to my home and my business. But my case is against Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Senator Catherine Cortez Maisto, and Trina Giles of Las Vegas. And for these reasons, these people, and I am the prevailing party, I should say, it in my case, but for these reasons, I am being just like stuck here, just stagnated because they don't want me to um, pursue this case because all of them will go to jail once the public finds out about this. Because technically, Obama was impeached in um, J uh, July, July of 2015. Barack Obama was impeached. But because they holding me hostage here 
and um, I can't um, finish the case. And they are just blatantly ignoring all the court's orders. The court's ordered them to give me money. The court's ordered them not to mess with my home in Las Vegas, not to mess with my property, all of that. And um, so because of Obama basically was being impeached, I'm being held hostage here in the state of uh, Texas, which is a, a federal state. So basically he's holding me hostage here in Houston, Texas. I'm trying to get back to Las Vegas. I'm trying to get back to my home. I have a business there. I'm trying to get back there. The courts ordered him and mandated. He's I was supposed to have money like uh, two years ago. And if the court didn't give me any money, I have money that I can withdraw. I am the title to basically all land. So I can withdraw some money from uh, funding from my inheritance, which is being blocked from me. So with all of that being said, um, if anything should happen to me, I'm going to get everything that's in my name. That's including the judgment from the Missouri court and the judgment from Nevada court, plus that certificate of title, I'm going to give it to every human person on the planet. America will own, will owe every human being on this planet $100. And I'm asking for Germany and Russia can take it after that. They can have their title because this don't make sense. All of my rights have been violated. My constitutional rights, my human rights, inalienable rights, legally protected rights that's in the title. All of them has been um, violated. These people has even um, holding my child against her will, trying to um, hold her for ransom and hostage. This is all happening right here in um, the United States of America. So I have already submitted to the courts. The world courts is working in my favor. That's whenever these here defendants will allow my emails to go through and my postal service mails to go to go through. And so for and for those reasons, I post everything on Facebook. I have a separate page just called Burgundy Channel. So I post everything on Facebook, or all of my um, facts and filings and emails that I send to the court, being that I am being blocked. Most of my emails are being blocked from even um, reaching the court. And even though I also have, um, I also have sent many a post post postal um, service mail through the postal services by me not getting any correspondent i can only assume that they are being blocked as well however recently i did um make an appointment to go see a dentist because i was going to have x-rays and eventually get this tooth removed that the security instrument is in well i was denied from even um being seen the uh, receptionist called me back and said that the doctor refused to see me so as you can see I cannot even go to uh, the dentist to have this tooth removed because they're blocking everything and this device let them know my every move just like a dog or or something so I'm being blocked but two days later I found it ironic that the Supreme Court of Missouri would send me a package and in that package it had um uh, dental like paperwork from the last time I went to the dentist office in 2014 as though I had requested it. Now I did request for the Abbey Dental in Las Vegas, Nevada. I requested for Abbey to send me and the courts, Barack Obama and the other defendants and the secretary, uh, the United States attorney general and some other people. I did request for Abbey Dental to send all of them documents. So if I received a packet from the Supreme Court, uh, with the dent, with that dental information in there, then Barack should have got them and everybody else involved should have gotten them. And in that packet, they all know that. That I am being held hostage. So technically, if they got it, then everybody should know that I am being held hostage here in Houston. So I'm not understanding why Trump and Barack is not uh, sending a United States Army out to come and rescue me as I had requested. And also over a hundred times I have asked for a restraining order against the defendants. I have asked for a witness protection order, emergency funding and everything. And all of that is being blatantly ignored. And so um, again, getting back to the dental documents, I find that ironic that the Supreme Court of Missouri would send me that packet 
two days after I was denied a dental appointment. Now, I told you in the past, I did submit something to Abby um, Dental, but that was months ago. But two days, two days now after I had been denied, I get something from the Supreme Court of Missouri as though they're faxing me information that Abby sent them, which is still wrong because I didn't ask for the Supreme Court to send me anything. I asked for Abby to send me all that and the in the um uh, documents that I um, requested, those are not even the documents that I requested. So again, uh, I am being held hostage here in Houston, Texas. I'm trying to get back home to my home at 1450 Water Creek Drive in North Las Vegas, Nevada. And I have a business at Granny's Beauty Center that I was forced to abandon. So again, I am pleading to the public and to the American people and to... um governments worldwide and also uh, to the United Nations, Russia, Germany, especially Germany, because um, they're part of my uh, heritage and my family. And that's where the document came from. So I am trying to get help and to be free right here in America. I'm being held a hostage, a slave, and my daughters are being um, forced not to communicate with their own mother. As a result, these people are trying to hold me hostage, trying to force me to ask for a certain amount from the courts for ransom, being that that title is the original title to, to the entire planet Earth. So again, um, passes on to um, anybody who you feel, uh, civil rights organization, human rights organization, or whomever. I, although I did reach out to all of these organizations, and I have ever since 2012, has been trying to get this security instrument out of my mouth, have been trying to get my life back. As of now, I'm just here, stuck here, and I'm just being deprived of my life. I sleep my life away. I'm stuck in the room every day doing nothing. I went from owning my own beauty salon, very um, a lucrative business, working up. Sometimes I will work 24 hours straight. I work 20 hours, 18 hours, 16 hours. Because you, it's just your hours are kind of undetermined. It just depends on how many um, clients you have in a given day. But I have been known to work sometimes 24 hours a day in Las Vegas Beauty Center. You can Google that. Is uh, my it was the business name is Granny's G R A N N Z apostrophe S Granny's Beauty Center, and I will work sometimes long, long hours. So I went from. Working every day in a very lucrative business. I had commercials airing on television, on BET and VH1. All of this to all of a sudden, um, these black peoples in um, Las Vegas just decided to steal from me. And then when I found out something was going on, that they were sabotaging my business intentionally and went to pursue that, try to get help for that, then things this matter has kind of escalated and got worse. So as of now, again, I am just stranded here. I'm stuck here, here in Houston, Texas. I desire to go and check on my home, check on my business. That's my livelihood. I worked my life. I worked my tail off all my life and I didn't get any grants or loans or anything else. I worked hard for what I have and I plan on going there and just kind of, you know, just, you know, checking on my business in my home, going back there to be there and to hopefully to settle this matter. So again, my name is Maya Hodges. And if you guys could forward it to the people, if anything should happen to me at all times, my daughters are not my beneficiaries. I do not plan on giving my daughters any of the, um, any benefits or interest or money to that land because if these people could do me like this and hold me hostage <clears throat> for ransom, I don't want them messing with my daughter, holding them hostage um, uh, for that little piece of paper because it's not worth it or for our inheritance. So I don't want them to go to, through the same drama that they have taken me through. So as of now, um, if anything should happen to me, it, it, it belongs to all of America assets all of uh, the land and uh, my bit, uh, benefits that I have stored away with the courts, as well as that title, shall go to Russia, it shall go to Germany, and it shall go to the people worldwide.